Hey guys, Zach here, and today we're going over my Season 1 builds for Enzo and Yujin. That's right, a 2-in-1 guy to be the ultimate support player. Definitely not because I'm gone for a week. Certainly not that. Enzo and Yujin are two of the best characters you can run in this game. Unlike the Glaze, Haley's, and Lepix, these two bring big buffs to the group like extra crit, firearm attack, skill damage, and even debuffs. If you have friends, then these characters will make everything go super smoothly. If you just delve into LFG Hell for all of your kills, then this will make that slightly less hell-like. Let's get into it. This is the only build you will ever need for Enzo. This gives you enough cooldown to pop your 4 every time the boss is down by a grapple and to constantly pop your 1 in between reloads. Your team will never run out of ammo and the extra crit will keep your kills sub 3 minutes. That is, if your team actually picks up the buff. Results may vary. Enzo cannot take advantage of Passionate Sponsor as well as Yujin can because of the uptime of his 1 and 4 requiring teammates to play around him, which if you're in LFG groups you'll be lucky to break 6 stacks. We went with Nimble Fingers and MP Conversion to boost our cooldown. Focus on non-attribute is also there for more cooldown, but I would feel comfortable replacing this with Stim Accelerant for more HP. Shot Focus gives us an easy 15% firearm attack damage. Skill Expansion and Maximize Range help us to buff our teammates when we pop our 4. You can swap Maximize Range for Amplification Control if you don't mind sacrificing some range for more shields. Survivability is always good. The last two slots we kept unmarked for resist mods. With this setup you can always swap to whatever resist is needed for the current boss you're playing. Just equip a gold external component and with this you'll always be sitting at 10k resist. A purple resist component would also be plenty fine. Run this with a singular non-attribute reactor with cooldown and skill duration. You can use dimension instead of singular if you already farmed a god roll for delay. Run the Annihilation set with this for the HP and defense. The extra 26% firearm attack also doesn't hurt. Here is the budget build if you're not interested in investing into a non-ultimate character. I get it, no judgment here. This is the build I like to use when running non-intercept content on Enzo. I don't suggest running Enzo during this content, but you do you. We've stacked as much cooldown and duration as we can without affecting our skill power modifier so that our 4 will actually do some damage. Pop your 4 and your whole team will get a speed buff and attack whatever is beside them. Run a non-attribute singular reactor with cooldown and duration for optimal uptime. Slayer set will give you a skill power boost. It's not a fun build, but it will make everyone else run faster. Good luck keeping up with the bunnies now. Do you not care about your teammates? Do you just want to be top damage as a support character and everyone else can kick rocks? Then do I have a build for you. This is Greedy Enzo. We run it with Annihilation set, Shot Focus, and Walk a Tight Rope for extra firearm attack damage with 100% uptime. You'll be running at 1 HP most of the fight, so we went with increased shield. But you don't need shields, right? You're a pro gamer. Just jump and dodge. Show these filthy casuals what you're all about. You'll be fine. Probably. Eugen is a great character if you want to keep your team alive while debuffing the boss and ruining everyone's day who runs walk a tight rope or the annihilation set. Let's get into it. With this build, we are focused on 100% uptime on Passionate Sponsor for the 75% increase in firearm attack and skill power modifier. That combined with Shot Focus for 15% firearm attack and the Frozen Heart set for extra weak point damage and crit hit rate, you're basically a walking healing totem if that healing totem also owned a gun. We went with MP Conversion and Nimble Fingers to get a 15 second cooldown on our 4 and maximize duration for 40% more uptime on our hot, which allows Passionate Sponsor to keep rocking itself. Don't worry, Enzo isn't jealous. Nope, not at all. Medical support along with Stim Accelerant and increased HP will do two things. One, increase your health, and two, increase your healing done. The last two mods are set up to be resistant mods against whichever boss you're fighting. This build will work until something more OP becomes available. Run this build with a non-attribute fusion reactor with cooldown and duration for optimal uptime. 
We use the Frozen Heart set for this build as it's super easy to keep rocked. This is the budget build of everything I just showed. This is all that's needed if you don't want to invest heavily into a non-ultimate character. Once again, I totally understand. Check out my first video about support characters. This build kicks butts. In a surprise twist, unlike Enzo, this build is incredibly fun. We're stacking cooldown and skill damage to pump up our absolute bonkers skill power modifier of a thousand percent on the adjusted two from proliferating allergy. Seriously, what a disgustingly good glow up for our boy. A two second cooldown with an almost 12 meter radius that spreads the debuff if it doesn't outright kill them, which it will because this thing can get up to 600,000 damage non-crit. What the actual- Anyways, the rest of the build is just damage. This is not completely finished. You should add Dangerous Ambush for an extra 25% skill power. That's right, not modifier, skill power. So it'll just get that extra 1000% modifier on top of it. Disgusting. Just run around throwing your two at things. Equip RK Acceleration so it goes further, faster. Don't even worry about shooting. If the timer runs out, it explodes. If anyone kills the mob, it explodes. Just spread your spores, homie. Life is good. Run this with Slayer set for more skill damage. Equip a singular non-attribute reactor with range and singular damage. I can't believe I like Eugen this much. What have I become? That's going to be it for the video. If you made it this far, consider leaving a like or subbing for more content. I'm on Twitch at Zach vs. Everything. Come hang out while I make new builds and try stuff out. Let me know in the comments if you prefer this short style of content or something more long form. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.